Hi, everyone. This is another Agency Brief. I'm John Perello, Principal Engineer, and I'm here with Alessandro. Alessandro, introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. I'm Alessandro Domenuco. I'm also a Principal Engineer, and I'm participating as uh, a, to the Agency Initiative. So today we're going to talk about ACP, which is the communication protocol that we're using for interagent communication. Alessandro, you've been designing and, and, and creating that, that ACP protocol. So why don't you tell us just what it's about and like the three biggest, largest features of it. Yeah. So the, the idea behind the Agent Connect protocol or uh, ACP is that we would like to have a standard way for agents to communicate to each other, to invoke each other. Um, without uh, without the dependency on the specific framework they are they used to build those agents. So agents should be able to be deployed, executed, and expose a standard interface that any other agent uh, could use. So that's why we designed ACP. So uh, ACP tries to standardize the most common ways in which agents agent usually interact with each other. So you can invoke an agent by usually just you know a stateless run. You just run, uh, execute uh, the agent task, and then you 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 come back. Or you would like to do more complex stuff, like you would like to the agent to run and keep a state, so you can invoke it again after a while and resume that state. And that's what we call thread run. Um, also, we would like to support interrupts, which is the way you you involve the human in the loop whenever you run uh, you run an agent. But you know we, we can go into the details of the uh, of the protocol. But bottom line, it's a standard that allow any agent to talk to to any other agent. Right, and it's more than just like two agents talking to each other, passing, uh, um, sending a message, and getting a reply, or having a, a connection. It's more about like the interrupts. There's a callback. Um, their state or stateless runs. So it's making them peers and then they can they can they can eventually do like turn-based uh, communication or things like that. Right? Exactly. So basically the ACP becomes the building blocks of what we call the multi-agent software. So when you want to build complex application, you're probably gonna use multiple agents that are you know developed by other people potentially. And uh, the uh, agent connect protocol allow this multi-agent software to interact with all these agents and and um, and get their service. Cool. And that's how we're envisioning it. Like you go to a directory, you say, hey, I, I, in the directory, I find an agent. And we say, oh, it speaks ACP. Great. Now I can talk to you you know, one-to-one. -one. We can have interrupts, callbacks, stateless, stateless runs. So there's, a, there's some example code in the, um, some examples that we've got in the, in the repo when we've delivered it. Why don't you tell us about one of those examples that you got and, uh, and how to run it? Yes, yes, I'll, I, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you a slide, but the, the, the point of that example is that uh, imagine that today people would, uh, would, de would develop agents using multiple frameworks. Let's say someone will use Langraph, someone will use Lama Index. And, uh, uh, and of course, one day, if everybody implements ACP, this communication would become seamless, so you don't care what, what specific framework was used for a given agent. But today, we have this uh, ecosystem with, uh, with this, um, how to say, uh, different framework being used. So we, in this example, we are trying to address also this uh, this uh, heterogeneity and uh, show how we can use ACP and another component that we have that is called the agent workflow server to to let this agent speak to each other. So let, let me share. Let me quickly share um, a slide. So here is the uh, the sample application that we want to build. Right. I would like to build this uh, uh, multi agent software where I have. Uh, Two agents. One is composing emails. Another one is reviewing emails, and uh, and they are not. I, I don't want to build all the agents that I need in my multi-agent software, which is like this this application that is able to compose email, review email, and even send email. So I would like to leverage the application written, the agent written by someone else. And uh, you know, in one case, I have the agent that is already uh, running and exposing ACP. So in that case, basically, in my Langraph application, I can use the ACP client SDK to make sure that I can uh, uh, create a local placeholder of that remote agent. In my, in this case, it's a Langraph application, and I can use that remote agent over ACP. In the second case, which is the email reviewer, I don't even know, I don't, I don't even have an ACP interface, but I have the this remote agent actually coming as a source code, which, by the way, is written in another framework. It's written in Lama Index while I'm using Langraph. And here, basically, I can use the workflow server to take the source code of Lama Index, execute it, 
and expose an ACP interface for it. Once I have these two, thanks to the workflow server, I can build my multi-agent uh, software here. In one case, I'm using the ACP client SDK to talk to the email composer over ACP. In the second case, I'm using another um, node in my LangGraph, which represents, thanks to the ACP client SDK, the email reviewer and talk to it over ACP. And then in this specific example, uh, we are also using another component that is called API Bridge Agent that allows me to speak to remote APIs. But probably this is for uh, an, a, another conversation. Uh, so just to show this in action, uh, if, you, if you see here, I'm first of all showing you the source code. In the source code, we have uh, the SDK, which is called ACP node here. Basically, I'm creating LangGraph node by using ACP node. And uh, this basically says to this class where the node is running and uh, uh, how to reach it. And then I'm including this node as a regular LangGraph application. And if you see the graph of this application, you see exactly the regular LangGraph graph where mail composer and email reviewer looks like local nodes, but actually they are local placeholder of remote nodes, the one that I just described, uh, that expose ACP. So under the hood, when I reach that point, I'm doing right. an ACP call. So if it's so basically if you're building a system and you have your workflow laid out, you can build it you know, in LangGraph and, and go through, okay, here's your design out is going to be here's all the here's the flow that I want. Then you're going to say, what are the agents? Well, I don't have to build that one. I can go and reuse that one. But then when you're actually done, it looks as though you've you've built them all, but really you're using ones that are remote or you know, ones that have been reused or rebuilt. Exactly. And and the ACP uh, SDK in this case is used to to build the LangGraph application, but it could be used also to build another kind. If, you're, if your preferred framework is a different one, let's say Llama Index, we have bindings that allow you to use Llama Index instead. So ACP is network protocol that is completely agnostic of the framework you use, but then we have uh, handy libraries to make use of the ACP in your specific, uh, in your preferred framework. Cool. And so the tutorials for this will be uh, in the repos as well. So if people want to do this, they yes, can run yes. through the tutorials and they can, uh, they can, they can see how to try it. So I guess that that's the best thing is everybody wants to try this out, take a workflow that you've got and you can probably break it up and then try these things out as remote um, as remote agents. That's probably the best next step is try. Yeah, so you, you actually, you have two options. One option is to go and uh, fetch directly the software that we built. So you can try it, just run it. Or we are also offering a tutorial that will guide you step-by-step step to build it from scratch. So you really okay. understand all the ins and out of the, of the ACP and the tooling. All right, so maybe that's something we'll do in the next, uh, the upcoming ones. We'll go through the tutorial and we'll go through the next steps and you know we can walk people through doing it. Thank you very much, Alessandro. Thanks everyone. Thank you, and see you soon. Thanks. Thank you.